Hi and welcome back. It's G from Strike Force Recordings. I just want to say big thanks for everybody who's been subscribing to the page. No inclusions and a lot of other guys keeping up with the page is leaving a lot of comments. Uh, today, uh, a couple guys asked me how to chop up samples and play them back with your MIDI controller and whatnot. And also they've been asking me how to stutter vocals. Well, I'm going to kind of show you how to do both at once today. Um, I know a lot of y'all have Reason and Recycle. We're going to be working with both of those today. We're going to start out with Recycle, which comes with Reason. It's usually free. You, when you first open it up, it's going to ask you what you want to be working with. You just got to go to the Waves file you're going to be working with. I already got it picked it's out. Hard just being the boss, being like we open that up. It's going to be an acapella, but this applies to any type of sample that you want to work with. An instrument sample, a drum loop, you want to chop it up and play it back on your MPC or your MIDI controller, your keyboard, whatever you want to do. Just remember, keep that in mind. Even though I'm working with vocals, it doesn't have to always be applied to vocals. So first thing we're going to do, we're going to come in here and grab our pencil. Now this pencil mark, everywhere you put a slice, that's going to be an actual pad on your MPC controller, your MIDI controller, um, whatever you're working with. Now with drums and loops, a lot of times it's easy to see where your slices are. There's nice big waveforms. You can push the space bar to cycle through them. It's hard just being a... Okay. So we'll just remember, everywhere you put a slice is going to be a key or a pad on your MIDI control that you're controlling reason with. So you can basically see where it is. If you got to cycle I through it, can't go just keep pushing, the space, keep pushing the space the bar. Is. It'll cycle through wherever you put a slice. So after you get your slices where you want, uh, I'm not too particular about where they are because I'm not actually going to be working with this just, just for tutorial purposes. After you get all the slices right where you want, oh, and also if you need to delete it, you can just click, or if you need to move it to wherever you need to do, you can just grab it by the lock bar up here and get it exactly where you need it. And you can always add more and move them. After you get everything where you want, you come in here to save as. You're going to save it, enter the loop length, it's four bars. Now you're going to want to save it somewhere where you know you're going to find it. This is my Jada Acapella. I'll save it on my desktop. you got to make sure you save it as a Rex 2 file so you can use it in Reason. Go ahead and save that. Okay, so that's all we need to do this. We're done with this. We can close that out. Go back into our Pro Tools. In Pro Tools, we're going to be working in Reason. Open Reason up. Now in Reason, you're going to want to open up your NN19 digital sampler. Once you do that, you're going to come in here and pick what you want to work with. Go to wherever you saved it at. I saved it on my desktop. Jada Acapella, open it's that up. Okay. Going to also, so we can control what keys we're, that we're working with, we're going to also load it up here. So you go to the same thing, go to my desktop. Jada Acapella. And click on it. There we go. Now that we got that loaded up with my MIDI controller, every key I push is a diff going to be a different sample that I had. Okay, you can also control what key and pitch they're played at by moving this. Now these, every one of these is your different sample. So if I move this up. Okay, I can control with where they're playing at on my MIDI controller. Alright, so you can control everyone to where they go and whatnot. Alright, after you get that, you can run it back in through Pro Tools and play it along with your beat that you got going. Uh, for those of you who are not too familiar with Reason, I open Reason on my aux track bust it out through one and two, bring it in on audio track that's if it's your aux tracks is mono, your audio track has to be mono also or vice versa if it's stereo. So you bust it out, I would go through a bus one and two and come in on another track in bus and one and two and then I could play it back to the beat. Remember we could do it with instrument samples, drum samples, whatever you want to work with and then you can play it back to your beat just right along with your MIDI controller.